3D graphics used in games have come a long way since they first started being used. Back in the 90s, the idea of complex 3D models in real time was as nebulous as the future itself. Today, we live in a paradigm where computers being able to render ginormous and titanic scenes are at our fingertips. But how do computers turn lines of code into the stunning visuals we see in games? Rendering 3D models all comes down to geometry. Models are made using polygons, or more precisely, triangles. All 3D games, and even most 2D games, are made using triangles, whether it's a simple game like Minecraft or a AAA game like Red Dead Redemption 2. But how do we get from simple triangles to photorealistic graphics? Let's first take a look at how a 2D square would be rendered. We start by placing a single point at 0, 0. We can then add more points at 1, 0 and 0, 1. Connecting these points and adding a mesh gives us a triangle. If we want to turn this into a square, we reuse the points at 1, 0 and 0, 1 by connecting them to a new point at 1, 1. This gives us a square using only four vertices. Bringing this into the third dimension requires a bit more work, but follows the same syntax. Each cube requires eight vertices, double that of a square. I'll go ahead and put the eight points on the screen, each at their respective positions. Now, just by looking, can you guess how many triangles it takes to make a single cube? The answer can be found by multiplying the number of sides by two, since each face needs two triangles to make a square, resulting in 12 triangles. All models are made using triangles, meaning generally the more triangles a model has, the more computational power it takes to render. If we take a game like Minecraft that is made entirely using cubes, at any time there can be easily upwards of a million cubes in only an 8x8 chunk region. A million cubes, each with 12 triangles, already gives a whopping 12 million triangles. This is already enough to cause some computers to completely give up. So how do we fix this? Well, we can actually cheat a little by just not rendering some of the triangles. In a 3x3 area of blocks, a player can walk around to see all of the blocks except the one in the middle. So what if we just didn't render it? This clandestine strategy is the same idea that's used for all of Minecraft, bringing the total number of triangles down well within a reasonable area. So now, whenever your friend asks you to play their favorite blocky game with them, you can tell them that it's actually a game about triangles modern day rendering process is a fascinating dialectic between the complexity of a model and the effort it takes to render it. From the simplicity of early graphics to the pristine worlds created with modern engines, computer graphics are an impressive, unscathed triumph of innovation and creativity. 